polyarthritis causes and symptoms polyarthritis is present when four or more joints in the body become painful and inflamed the condition is also known as polyarthralgia which means many joint pains the name polyarthritis comes from two greek words poly means many or much arthron means joint in this video we look at some of the different forms of polyarthritis along with the symptoms that can occur and when and what can can be done to treat them symptoms <clears throat> the symptoms of polyarthritis can be similar to those of rheumatoid arthritis they can develop in the body over a period of many months or they can have a sudden onset symptoms include pain stiffness swelling or redness in the affected area a rash tiredness or a lack of energy a high temperature of 100 100.4 degree fahrenheit or 38 degree celsius or above sweating lack of appetite unexpected weight loss causes polyarthritis can occur as a result of genetic factors some people neg some people naturally have disease destroying proteins in their bodies called antibodies that make it easier for the condition to thrive certain triggers can also cause polyarthritis when the body has an infection that weakens the immune system polyarthritis can be either sero positive or sero negative sero positive this means the person has the antibodies in their blood that make that may attack their body instead of infections such as bacteria or viruses so they may be more likely to develop polyarthritis sero negative this diagnosis indicates that this particular antibodies are not present in someone's blood someone's blood sometimes polyarthritis is caused by a prior infection or illness and it can be accompanied by another condition this parallel occurrence often makes it hard for doctors to diagnose the process is outlined in one study from 2016 which described how a 19 year old woman was diagnosed with a form of meningitis and also found to have polyarthritis the viruses that cause rubella and mumps also activate the body's immune system and can trigger an inflammatory reaction that leads to someone developing polyarthritis what are the risk factors the risk factors for polyarthritis are of two kinds those that can be changed and those that cannot factors that can be changed include lifestyle smoking alcohol consumption and caffeine intake can make someone more open to developing polyarthritis early life experience if a child is exposed to factors such as having parents who smoke it may increase their risk of developing polyarthritis later in life factors that cannot be changed include age people become more prone to developing polyarthritis as they age gender the rate of diagnosis of recent cases is higher in women than men inheritance specific genes can make a person more likely to develop polyarthritis types of polyarthritis according to the united states centers for disease control and prevention cdc around 54.4 million adults annually are diagnosed with a form of arthritis fibromyalgia gout or lupus between 2013 and 2015 
there are several different forms of polyarthritis include, including the following polyarticular GIA when polyarthritis presents in young people from an early age to late teens it is classified as juvenile idiopathic arthritis or JIA it can cause very painful swelling in small and large joints from ankles wrist, wrists and hands to hips and knees it may even occur in the neck and jaw areas doctors do not always know what causes JIA in many cases it is a condition that can improve over time and with good treatment lupus as well as affecting a person's joints this form of polyarthritis often impacts the skin kidneys and the central nervous system psoriatic arthritis psoriatic arthritis as its name suggests can be present in people who have the skin condition psoriasis sometimes arthritis develops first symptoms to look out for can be a scaly red, red rash and the fingers and toes swelling into a sausage shape on one side of the body only associated conditions polyarthritis is not a specific condition and people with it may present to their doctor initially with something is something else of concern for instance early polyarthritis may cause someone to feel very tired or have flu like symptoms there are some conditions that can accompany polyarthritis or be a sign that there is another problem this include dupuytren's contracture when the connective tissue in the hand contracts to become tighter any one of the person's fingers may curl into the palm fibromyalgia this is a condition that affects the whole body causing pain and fatigue in numerous areas including the muscles hemochromatosis if the body stores too much iron rather than using it the buildup can lead to polyarthritis developing inflammatory bowel disease IBD such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease causes inflammation in a person's small intestine and colon Renaud's disease this condition is marked by poor blood circulation in the hands and feet fingers can sometimes go white at the ends or very red or purple diagnosis and when to see a doctor polyarthritis can be difficult to diagnose because there are many different forms and doctors have to conduct numerous tests to find out what type they are seeing if someone has one or more of the following symptoms it is a good idea to go and see a doctor stiffness in the joints lasting more than 30 minutes with swell or pain remaining pain in the joints that makes everyday activities difficult joints that can be warm to the touch and red looking any of the above symptoms lasting three or more days pain or swelling that recurs over a short period of time the doctor will carry out a variety of tests including blood tests that may look for evidence of viral infections or for a marker called rheumatoid factor or RF RF is a protein that can attack the healthy tissue in the body the doctor will also test the joints by seeing if they are swollen or hot to the touch and how easy or difficult it is to move them they may also offer an x-ray to help determine what is causing the pain to help them further test to find out what type of polyarthritis may be present they can take a sample of fluid from the painful joints this process is called aspiration complications 
if polyarthritis is not treated or controlled well other organs and parts of the body can be severely affected effects on other areas of the body include lungs scarring on the lungs can cause complications such as shortness of breath and a chronic cough eyes dry eyes or inflammation of the whites of the eyes skin a rash or lumps of tissue developing under the skin heart the lining around the heart can become inflamed causing chest pain heart attacks and strokes may also be more likely there is more likelihood of certain conditions developing if the polyarthritis has been present for a while this include carpal tunnel permanent joint damage and problems with joints at the top of the spine